theoretical versus experimental probability. Standard today is I can calculate experimental probabilities from experiments and I can use experimental probabilities to make predictions when actual probabilities are unknown. So we start with theoretical probability. If you remember, probability is the chance of an event happening. So the chance of an event happening. With theoretical, it's determined by mathematical calculations. Or just write in your notebook, determined by math. So theoretical probability is a chance of an event happening determined by math. It's what we've already been doing. So for instance, let's do an example of a number cube. If a number cube is rolled, you have six possible outcomes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So the probability of rolling a three would be a one, because there's one three on the dice, out of six which is, if I put that in my calculator, it would be 1.16 repeating, which then rounds to 17%. Even, the probability of getting an even number, where 2, 4, and 6 are even, so there's 3 out of the 6 possible outcomes, which simplifies to 1 half, or 50%. 1 or 3, well that would be 2 possible outcomes, out of the six, which is one-third, or 33%. So let's look at something different besides a number cube. Here's a spinner. What is the probability that I spin green on the spinner? There are four possible outcomes. One of them is green, so I have a one out of four chance, which again would be 25%. So remember, the easiest way to remember probability, it's what I want to happen over my total. So we're setting up that relationship, what I have over the total. So experimental is a little, it's a little different in the fact that it's a chance of event happening, but now it's based on repeated testing, or it's a chance of event, event happening based on an experiment. So what I did in class today is I gave every one of your classmates a coin, and we, they each flipped it 10 times. So I'm going to take a look at a little graph. If different groups were flipping it 10 times, they were recording how many heads they could have. So watch what happens here. Theoretical of flipping a head would be a 1 out of 2 chance or 50%. So this part of the graph will never change. But let's say out of um, 20 flips that two groups did together, they got seven heads out of the 20. Got us to 35%. Does that mean the experimental's wrong? No, it just means that's what they ended up getting. They're not going to get exactly 50% each time. So the second group got 11 out of 20. Well, that got us to 45, so we got a little closer. We're still not at 50, that's okay. The next group got six out of 20. And now we're to 40. So this graph is going to move depending on how many trials. We could keep going. The next group got 12 out of 20. And the next group had 14 out of 20. Oh my goodness, that's right at 50%. Does that mean we're finally there? No, it just means as we continue to go, the next group had an 8 out of 20. And a, again, 6 out of 20. We had a 13 out of 20, and our last group had a 7 out of 20. So we ended up after this experiment at 47% of flipping heads. What it's saying is that the more experiments you do, the closer you're always going to get to the theoretical. If we continued and added up our next hour, we would get closer to the 50%. We may at times go over it, go under it, but the more experiments you do, the closer you're always going to get on that theoretical probability. So what you're going to do today is I'm going to hand you out a deck of cards. You're going to do an experiment. You and your partner will get a deck of cards from the front of the room and answer the following questions. First of all, how many cards are there in a deck? Just so you know, do not count the joker, so there's 52 cards. You need to look at them and decide how many different suits. Suits are the things that... Um, change. They make them look different. There's always four cards, like four threes, and each one is a different suit. You're then going to answer these questions. This first set of questions is all based on theory, so it's all based on math. 
Then you and your partner are going to take the deck of cards and 25 times you're going to take turns. You're going to replace the card each time. So if I pull out a card and it was a two of diamonds, I would write a two in the diamonds area. Then I put the card back in and I pull out a new one and this time I got the queen of spades so I put a Q for queen. And I continue this. I put the card back in, I mix them up and I do it again and I got the ace of diamonds. And it just continues this along until we do it 25 times. And then you'll have a series of questions to answer about experimental. The experiment you did, the bottom number, the total, would be out of 25 times because that's how many times you did it.